Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> so yeah, I had to like, last week was, let's not talk about last week, okay? Let's just pretend it didn't happen because nothing happened. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm back with another video. Now this video is going to be a quick, a good, well, I don't know if it's quick, but it's gonna be a get ready with me. And also I'm just gonna be talking about this beautiful hair that I'm wearing from Eon Hair. And it came in this cute packet. Like, how cute is that? Like, it is to die for, it is so cute. Let's get to the hair. Let's talk about the specs of the hair and um how you guys can get it okay guys so this is uh yeah like i was saying this hair is from eon hair i hope i'm pronouncing that properly it is a water wave and it is a dark brown like a almost a black but it's it, it's a dark brown type of hair and uh it's 12 inches but you can see it's uh it's an asymmetrical but because it's longer here than it is at the back so they did cut it to have that asymmetrical look and this is what is it it is a cap constructed with a middle size wig cap and it is brazilian so the hair is a brazilian water wave and i'm in love with it i've been wearing this hair for the past three weeks now or close to a month because I got it like a while back and I've just been rocking it just to see how it will wear because whenever I do reviews like I say to you guys I always wear my hair and now I just wanted to wear it longer because firstly I like the hair and um, secondly I actually didn't really feel like shooting and I just wore the hair and I know some of you guys have been asking for a month review type of vibes so I feel like this is a month now i've been wearing this hair for a month and i can like say that this is how it looks i obviously have to keep going uh in with water and conditioner you know that thing i put together for you guys showing you how to act, how to revive your curls so i have been doing that every now and again but because the hair is short it does not mat and tangle like the long hair does so it's actually very uh, low maintenance you just like put it on and there's no styling you don't have to like iron it or do anything it is just like this and because like i was saying it's shorter you don't have to keep detangling it every single time you have to wear it so yeah this hair comes with if you um if you use the link that i'll be leaving down below you can actually get yourself an eight dollar discount if you use my name zuzi wear in the description and um, in the when purchasing this hair it is an ear to ear frontal which is really really great and i mean the hair you can see for yourself like babes my mom actually wants this hair and i'm not sure if i'm gonna give it to her like i'm in love with it like what some hey and Tarisha babes like we're here we are here <laughs> so yeah guys um now i'm going to show you guys how i actually achieved this look so if you guys are interested to, if you guys are interested to see how i actually did this look then stay tuned and yeah hey. okay anyway <laughs> let's get into this look so I'm, I'm gonna be using my um my new baby skin primer by maybelline maybelline i went back and i bought this primer even though i was like i didn't like it but i ended up using it and i kind of liked it so i went back and i um and i got it so I'm gonna apply that. Oh, I think I wasn't using it correctly. I was using way too little, and I wasn't getting the effect that I wanted. But now I can like tell the difference. Even now, even me applying it now, like I can completely feel that there's a difference. Oh, so today what I wanted to do was um. You know how I, how I do my makeup is I start 
I started with my foundation. I actually forgot now because I just put my primer. I start with my foundation and then I'll go and then I'll do my eyes. So today I thought, let me start with my eyes and then end with my foundation. Like how you guys do it. So I'm gonna go in and um, do my eyebrows. So yeah. Anyway guys, so this is a get ready with me and we can chat. I don't know about what, but we're gonna be chatting. Oh, and I do tweeze my eyebrows to be very thin and they look really weird before I actually fill them up. So when I'm walking around in the house, I look like a cashier. But yeah, guys, anyway, like I was saying, the last few weeks, even before I stopped posting, I had been like uh, on a slump. I don't know why it's just like I'm just not in the mood to pick up a camera and shoot and it's just like so many things especially when um, I think it is very important to get out and just like do things because you can get um, cooked up at home and forget that there's an actual world out there you know which is what sometimes happens to me. That happens to me sometimes. And I find myself in my own space and I talk myself out of doing things because I'm just like, ugh, I'm lazy, you know? So yeah, guys. And also, I like, I've just been tired of YouTube and posting and stuff, like I said. I was just like, over it a little bit even though I'm not really over it I was just like ugh. you know excuse my crusty lips my crusty everything I feel so crusty today I'm just not a, I feel like do you know when you, you just don't feel yourself anymore like when you go through like something like I, I'm just feeling like I don't know if you guys get that but like I'm just not there. There's something. There's something. I don't know what it is, but like, I can't put my finger to it. Like, I can't specifically say, but it's this. You know? But there's just something that's not well with my spirit, and it's affecting, like, my day to day life because. So yeah, hopefully I will get better and I'll start posting more. Oh yeah, so did you guys see the thingy? Firstly, what happened? It's the Casper thing. The Casper thing happened um, on Twitter where this guy from, I think from Limbobo. Um, oh Benny, Benny Mayengan. So he had a concert in um, Peter Mutava Stadium or something, I think. Yo, guys, this is you. This is how you guys usually look. <laughs> so this guy had this concert and. He called it fill up, fill up um, Peter Mugaba Stadium, whatever the stadium's name is, but it was basically fill up something. Now, the debate online is, um, is that does the guy have the right to call his concert fill up because Casper already has that whole fill up thing and apparently he has a trademark on it and has trademarked the phrase fill up with ellipses so that's basically Casper's trademark I don't know if he's already trademarked it or it's in the process of being trademarked but he's basically laying claim to it and the whole thing is that 
people are mad at Casper for suing this boy or like sending him with the cease and desist for this thing. And my whole thing is I don't I don't understand how people don't understand um, that Casper actually has right to do that. If he has a copyright on the thing, he can sue people. Right? He can sue people. So if he has a copyright on it, he can definitely lay claim to the name. Even though, like, the, and then people are, are saying that, um, no, but he didn't come up with the name. Of course he didn't come up with the name. Most people who copyright things don't come up with names. It's not like they invent a new word. They don't. But they copyright a specific phrase or a specific name in that industry or anything that might be affiliated or similar or misconstrued as that's the whole point of a copyright it's not saying that I came up with the name fill up no it's saying that I have a commercial re um, um, what is this I have commercialized this thing in this specific field which is in um, concerts and all of that stuff. So he's done that. Now, if if um, if someone were to come up with a with a yogurt brand called Fill Up, that has nothing to do with Casper. He can't do anything about that because it, this it does not confuse. And even in that thing that he sent out, it said um, it even says that um, if it's affiliated or it must or might be confused for Casper's product, which it is a product. It's, it's intellectual property for him. And if you are gonna gain from it after he's trademarked it, then you're writing off his coattails. It's already someone else's trademark. That's how trademark works. So if you are gonna go and like financially benefit for, from someone else's IP, that's not right. Imagine you build something because people are saying, oh no, um, the Orlando Pirates team already had um, fill up Orlando for one of the matches or like a couple of matches or whatever the situation is. My thing is people never knew about that before. I mean, only like soccer fanatics or people who are, I certainly didn't know about it. And I can, I can assure you that some people didn't know about it. But because Casper has brought it to the mainstream and now people know about it, I'm gonna use um, this color, this one here. But now because people know, um, but because Casper has marketed it, he marketed it. We know Philip because of Casper. And if you are not gonna be honest with yourself and, and say yes, then we can't have this discussion because we know that thing because of that boy and that is not a lie so please guys why why can't we take people serious when they're trying to take themselves serious it's just like that table thing that was trending on, on on twitter where people had like an issue with this guy um naming his genes after himself and charging 950 for them and if you are going for a high-end quality pair of jeans 950 is actually a reasonable amount jeans from Zara are like bordering that amount I've, I've gotten a jean like a pair of jeans from Zara for eight something and that's Zara Zara is like mass market it's not even like a specific designer you know so if you are going to have an issue with this boy naming his jeans after his name like what's your like what's the issue is it because it's called tepo and not um what giorgio because it's it's, it's literally the same thing it's not tom ford is that the issue because I don't get what people have an issue about. Anyway. So that's the whole debate around this whole thing. 
And a lot of people are like, but why did he have to name it after himself? How? It's his genes. He can name it whatever he wants. Here's Mona. Mona, guys. Yeah, Pamanisa. So please don't catch that thing. So, yeah, guys, you're gonna Mona. I see again Mona, guys. Oh, and also, over the weekend, what happened? Serena happened, and that was a big thing. A lot of people were upset about that i know i was it was completely unfair what happened to her and just how graceful she was in handling it after the fact you know of course she was upset during the match but afterwards because at the end of the day it was uh, naomi's first win and shem you could see the poor thing was distraught she was crying, which made me cry. Like I was so emotional when watching the clips because I saw them online. And the way she was just like crying because wow. People were booing her and she didn't know if they were booing her or they were booing like the situation. But they were just booing. And Serena literally went up to her and was like, babes. Don't stress. It's okay. And she told her people, but guys, no. This is Naomi's first win. Let's not take away from her. And she played a good game, that girl. She is an elite athlete, and you are going to see her again. So, as much as, yes, I felt sorry for her, I'm actually not worried. Because I think she's good. Naomi's going to be fine. She's going to be just fine. Okay. So there you have it. Now I'm going to go in with another color. I want a dark color just to deepen my crease. So I'm going to go in with this one here. This color here. Okay, now what, what else am I, what, what else can I do now, guys? Oh, okay. I know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take... I'm actually freestyling this look as I'm going, so don't judge me. I'm going to take this color here from my Beauty Treats palette. And then I'm going to go on it. I'm going to go with it right here on my lid. Should I cut crease or should I just put it on? I think I'm just gonna put it on. I'm not really in the mood to cut, to cut anything. So let's just put it on and see how that's gonna come out. It's actually not bad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <coughs> that ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, the glitter. Where is it here? Okay, wish me luck, guys. Because if this thing flops, it's gonna be a smash. So I'm gonna use, um, this one here. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> if it doesn't stick, guys, I'm gonna scrap this whole video. Maybe I should do it with my fingers, but let's see. So I just scooped it up with the brush now. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Not bad. It's not not sticking. Uh-uh, I'm gonna try my fingers. See, I already got a lot of product. Oh my god. Oh my 
my god oh okay wow do you happy na kanem i'm gonna look so extra today but oh well if not me then who <laughs> I hope this thing doesn't like scatter all over my face, which it probably will. But let's give it a chance. Can someone please stop me? I can't stop. <laughs> someone come and take my hand <laughs> and stop me. <sighs> Okay, enough, enough, enough. Okay. What do you guys think? I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> Foundation. Okay. So I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown uh, Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This foundation I've been using for a long time now. <laughs> it's probably more than six months since I've been using this foundation. I ran out and I had to go get another one. I wanted to try the Smashbox one, as you guys saw in my vlog, but I was just over it by the time um, I thought of going to Woolies. I was like, you know what? Mm, nah, I'm over it. So I, I just went and I got the Bobbi Brown one. So, yeah, I mean, this foundation has done wonders for me. I don't have any complaints. Since I started using it, I remember when I started using it, it did have a bit of stickiness to it, but as I've been using it throughout the months, like, I think my skin has gotten used to it and it's, it's just perfect. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation when I'm wearing this. Like, the way it sits on my skin and you can see, like, it has, you know, there's a lot of moisture in it for me and I have dry skin but it's not the moisture that makes you look oily it has a dewy finish but it's not to the point where it's like oily you know and you look like you've got grease on your face so it's just the right type of of moisture so if you guys are on the market for a foundation then I think you guys can try this one out and see how it will treat you because for me it's been amazing that looks like a lot of foundation <laughs> but you <yeah. laughs> let's blend and see how it looks i i won't lie i like kicking on my foundation it's my thing i will kick it on kick kick i like a full finish and also that's another thing about it even though it does feel natural it does give you um full coverage which is cool for me because when i beat i beat when i don't beat i don't beat i don't do in betweens we go in and we don't go at all so yeah okay so there's my foundation i do um want to go in a little bit with this foundation around my problem areas i should get a corrector but I don't really know how to use correctors and I've tried and it just does not look right. So I just add in a little bit more foundation and that seems to do, to do the job for me. People who use correctors and stuff like, I feel like they're pros because for me a corrector just ends up looking green or orange or whatever. And now you must understand what the orange is there for, like the green is made to cover up um, redness and orange sometimes cover up black spots and all of that stuff like this. It's so technical guys. All of these things are very technical and you might think it's just like, oh, you put colors on your skin and then you end up looking pretty. Nope. There's a whole science to this makeup thing and if you're not ready to invest then just stick to what you know 
now i'm gonna go in with my concealer this is my obviously la girl which is running out gonna set my face because well you shine and she I'm not here for it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah I want to go to Cape Town, guys. Soon. I just miss home. I miss... I was home not so long ago. Actually, no. It wasn't like... No, no. It was a while back when I was home. And... I just want to go back again because I miss... First, I miss my friends. My mom, my dad, and my sister, and my brother. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Let me contour because I look washed out. I've been recording for how long now? I'm sure I'm gonna run out of space soon. And then, Zolila. Now, my battery's gonna die, and I'm so sad because I'm gonna have to go charge it now, and I'm lazy. <gasps> Whew. And then I'm gonna use my um, my contour, my powder one. This is from my Beauty Treats palette that I've been using for like almost two years now. No, I'm lying, almost a year. I haven't even highlighted my favorite part and this thing wants to die why why tell me why okay so let's highlight quickly before it goes dead there's the highlighter this is my wet and wild mega glow my favorite highlighter i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna go in with the highlight brush and i'm just gonna Apply, can you guys see that? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna go in and put my lashes and then I'm gonna come back with the finished look. Okay guys, so I'm done with my lashes now. I went ahead and I did my my bottom lashes as well. Now I'm going to do my lips and then we are going to be done with this look. So I'll usually use this um, eyebrow designer as a liner. So I just line them like that. And then I do go in with my other lip liner. This is my Givenchy lip liner. So I'll just, um, what's the color? It's 5W01. But I'm gonna go in with my lip gloss because I'm obsessed. This is my lip gloss from Essence. This is my ride or die. I've been using this lip gloss for over two years now and I have no complaints. Yes, there we go. So there you have it. 
this is the look for the week thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i hope you enjoyed that video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet i don't know what you're waiting for does it like subscribe and join the family i will be uploading another video next week so look forward to that and other than that Ayiko Enyinto. thank you guys so much for the support and yeah i'll see you guys on my next one i love you so much bye